Hello everyone, I am Professor S.R. Patil, Department of Information Science and Engineering, BLD CUT, Vijayapura. So I would like to welcome you all for this uh, data analytic lecture. In this lecture, I am going to teach you association rule mining in data analytics. So we'll see what is association rule mining. Association rule mining is a popular unsupervised learning technique used in business to help identify shopping patterns. So this association rule mining can also be called as a market basket analysis. So this association rule mining, which helps to find interesting relationship between variables, thus it can help cross sell related items and increase the size of the sale. So association rule mining, we can give a better example. That is an example for the association rule mining would be a customer who bought flight tickets and a hotel reservation also bought a rental car plan 60% of the time. So this is a prediction we have in this way by using the association rule mining. So association rule mining, it is a part of the machine learning family. This is a brief introduction about association rule mining. The next we can see some of the business applications. So coming to the business applications of association rule mining. So here this analysis suggests not to put one item on sale at a time and instead to create a bundle of product promoted as a package to sell other non selling items as well. So that is how we can use this association rule mining in the business application that is for cross marketing or cross selling. Okay. So it is also used for store design catalog design, e-commerce site design. And it is also used for optimization of online advertising, uh, product pricing and sales or promotion of configuration. So that is how we can use the association rule mining in the business application. The next application that is medicine. So how it is helpful in the medicine. So association rule mining that is use help relationship between the symptoms and illness. So we can easily find the difference between a relationship between the symptoms, what are the symptoms of the patient and illness. So diagnose and patient characteristics and treatments. So it is also used in like genes and their function that is genomics projects. So that is how association rule mining can be used in business application as well as the medical application. Representing association rule. So there is a generic rule is there. Okay. So here X tends to Y or Y is derived from the X or something like that. Okay. So X tends to Y that is within bracket S percentage and C percentage. So what is this? X is on the left hand side and Y is on the right hand side. So where S is what? It is a support. Okay. So how you can find the support? It is how often X and Y go together in the data set. So S is nothing but how X and Y go together in the data set or you can also call it as a X union Y. Okay. So where C is a confidence. So confidence means how often Y, how often Y is found for the given X. Are you getting? I'll repeat once again. Confidence is how often Y is found for the given X. That is how we are going to calculate the confidence. Okay. So here we have like, uh, as I told you, okay, uh, when the X example for this uh, generic, I can take laptop computer comma antivirus software. Consider this is X and this is Y. So this, this, is, oh, sorry, this is X and this leads to what? Extended service plan. Okay. So this 30% is nothing but a support. 70% is nothing but a confidence. Understood this? Okay. So from the previous case, uh, like association rule mining, the input will be the simple point of sale transaction data. The output will be most frequent affinities among the items. So in the last slide, I have taken an example. According to the transaction data, customer who bought a laptop computer and a virus protection software also bought an extended service plan 70% of the time. Okay, so this is a one example we can give uh, for the association rule mining. 
algorithm for association rule mining so here some of the algorithm in association rule mining the goal is to find all the rules that satisfy the user specified minimum support and minimum confidence to get the minimum support and minimum confidence like the algorithm helps identify frequent item sets which are then converted into association rule so some of the algorithm that are available are a priori algorithm a clat algorithm ft growth algorithm okay so we are mainly focusing on a priori algorithm how it works this is the most popular bet for strategy algorithm so we can see in the next slide how actually this a priori algorithm works the resulting set of rules are all the same so here given a transaction data set t this is a transaction data set and a minimum support and a minimum confidence okay so percentage s is nothing but what minimum support and a minimum confidence that is percentage c the set of association rules existing in transaction set that is t is uniquely determined okay so a priori algorithm so how this a priori algorithm works the a priori property is a downward closure property which means that any subset of a frequent item set is also a frequent item set so here we have the example just look at over here it is a bottom up approach the frequent subset are extended one item at a time the size of a frequent subset increases from one item subset to the two item subset then three item subset we will see one item two item three item there is an example is there i'll explain in detail how this one item set and two item subset works okay i was talking about a it is a closure property which means that any subset of frequent item set okay consider if a comma b comma c comma d is a frequent item set okay then any subset of this frequent uh, uh, item set that will be also a frequent item set consider a comma b comma say this is what this is a subset of this set okay or b comma d what is this this is a subset of this set so these two are also frequent item set understood this so a priori algorithm which finds the subset that are common to at least a minimum number of the item sets so that is how the a priori algorithm works so we'll see one simple example that is uh, exercise association rule exercise so here we have the data set shows a dozen sales transaction dozen sales transaction means how many transactions are there 1 to 12 okay so this is a transaction list i have there are six products being sold what are the six products milk bread butter where is the butter milk bread butter egg then a uh, cookies and ketchup cookies then ketchup the total items that are how many are there there are six products are there are six items are there okay so transaction 1 the transaction in the transaction 1 that is focus on the row number 1 it sold milk egg bread butter transaction 2 it sold milk butter egg ketchup okay similarly transaction 12 sold milk bread cookie and ketchup okay the support level for this we consider as a will be set to 33% and the confidence level will be set to 50% okay so based on that we are going to find the one item set two item set kind of coming to the step 1 okay so creating frequent item set begin with a one item item sets okay So what does it mean? One item item sets mean. So one item item set means the so this particular milk product. How many times it occurred in this particular table? So just check it out. Milk one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Isn't it? So milk that is occurred how many times? Nine times. So similarly, we check for all the products. So cookies also we can check. So cookies. One, two, okay. So how many times cookies? One, two, then uh, three, four, five. Total cookies five times. Okay, here there is no cookies. Okay, so this is one item set. Understood this? It's very simple. 
from this base table transaction table so i am taking each product how many time it is there okay so next move on to the next step in the next step okay two item sets okay you are going to take one more item along with the previous one okay you are going to take milk bread okay combination of these two milk butter milk egg milk ketchup milk cookies okay so milk bread means just check with the milk bread okay one time uh, this is one time okay then similarly check check with that milk bread two time okay milk bread three time okay so milk bread four milk bread five milk bread six milk bread seven how many times seven similarly find it for all all this so why i have uh, sketched something like this because i have taken the support that is 33% and confidence that is 50% okay so based on that so i am going to find the values in the two item set thus the sales of milk bread is seven time okay is seven out of 12 so milk butter is seven time milk butter also seven time milk sorry bread butter is nine time just check the bread butter how many time nine time okay and bread cookies bread cookies how many time four time okay so this four seven nine okay so out of 12 which gives them more than 33 percent so that is why i'm going to consider only this okay not remaining so coming to the three item set so in the three item set we're going to take three products okay so milk bread butter combination how many times it is there so six times it is there so similarly milk bread cookies one time milk bread cookies that is three times butter egg cookies one time okay so because we need to satisfy the support and confidence okay so we're not going to consider which is having the least value okay so we're going to consider which is having the most value understood similarly we're going to find it for the four item set four item set means what milk butter bread and what is this c c stands for uh, cookies okay so total one time okay one it is uh, i'm not going to consider this because it will not satisfy the support and confidence understood select only those item set that meet the designated support level say so here they have taken the support level 25 percent i was talking about 33 if 33 i cannot able to consider this three as well okay milk cookies three is there no so three by 12 okay so it will not comes under 33 percent okay you can consider 25 percent understood it's very simple don't get confused first item that means how many times this product uh, like how many times it is uh, it is there in the base table in two item sets okay so uh, combination of any two okay so you just check it out how many times it is there like that three item then four item understood this okay so this is the association rule extraction just pay attention for a given support and confidence level say 25 percent that is a support and 50 percent that is a confidence okay so now we have the item set milk bread butter which occurs six times okay so that is six out of total 12 transaction in the database so six by 12 means how much so that is 50 percent for all rules coming out of this support level will be 6 by 12 that is 50 percent understood how we can able to find the support okay consider the rule bread butter that leads to milk okay here item set bread butter how many times it occurs nine times okay so from the previous example we have taken bread butter that occurs nine times okay then so what is the support level so support level i have told you that is 6 by 12 6 by 12 that is how much 50 percent okay so what is the confidence so confidence how you are going to find out confidence we are going to find out that is like 6 by 9 so 6 is nothing but a total how many times that is like uh, support this is a support okay support value 6 by 9 9 is nothing but what how many times bread and butter occurs 9 times isn't it so 6 by 9 how much it is 67 percent so for the bread and butter milk the support will be 50 percent that is 50 have written here and the confidence will be 67 percent this is a 67 percent so similarly 
the rule milk butter so now we have find out for the bread butter okay bread butter the support is 50% and confidence is 67% so for the milk butter bread so here support will get 50% and for this uh, confidence will be 6 by 7 okay and and the rule uh, for milk bread okay so here we have the support will be 50% and confidence will be 6 by 7 okay so here sorry this is not 6 by 7 this is 67 67 and this is also 67 okay fine uh, you cannot believe in god until you believe in yourself which is said by swami vivekananda with this quote i would like to conclude this lecture so thank you so much for watching this video so i request all the viewers those who have not subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel thank you so much